Those who don't know me, my name is Paperboy. I am a music artist. Um, I'm an internet sensation. Um, you guys probably see me from eating cereal out of sneakers. Um, my uncle Kanye. And I'm just here to just drop real knowledge and real game to y'all. I am a big sneaker enthusiast. I've been um, involved with sneakers for over 20 plus years. Um, it's been a wonderful game. The game's been so good to me. The culture here is very different from other parts of the world. Like, um, we're kind of spoiled out here, and a lot of us don't really appreciate the game. Like, um, the game has evolved so much. The game is just all about reselling and making money now. You'll find very few guys like me that really appreciate the shoe, like I have on right now. There's a Jordan Fragment collab, um, which is a very rare Jordan one. Um, they got about three different styles. They got a friends and family one, this style, and also have a style with a black emboss on it. I don't have a big collection anymore, but I got a cool little lineup, like my arsenal uh, consists of a lot of rare, powerful stuff, like Air Mags, all the Nike Yeezys, Frags, Calls, Just Dons, so on and so forth. Um, I like sneakers though. Me and my team is fortunate enough to have friends and certain people that run these stores to have us jump the line or let us in through the front door, you know, just on the on the person I am and the bridge I have created for me and my team to walk across and the people I've known to keep a great good bond with them. It's, it's not about how much money you got anymore, it's who you know now, you know? It could be somebody with a million dollars versus somebody like me with zero dollars going to go cop a shoe from a friend that I know versus him trying to buy a shoe. I'm gonna get that shoe from him because the relationship bond that we have, no money could break that. And that's how this game is. It's, it's not how much money you have anymore, it's who you know. Money plays a small factor in like things, but it really doesn't in, in anymore. I have friends that have a lot of power. I can get any shoe that I want, but I don't, I don't want too many shoes. The shoes I have is pretty much everything I always wanted. Just a few pieces makes me satisfied. Special shoe right here. This is from my uncle's friend, Don C. He had mailed these to me. Uh, these are a sample. The most like sanctuary of like all sneakers and sneakers like boom, right here. That's why it's like the top tier. The best sneakers ever made. Yeezy Blink, which is his first Nike shoe he did. That has his autograph when he was with Adidas, which he already broke the contract. But you know, when you deal with family, you do you do, you do things out of love and heart. That's why he did that. And these are special to me because these are the only light up shoes that um, that light up. It's like the black market, but it's more of, um, it's called the resale market. Everything that you get that's exclusive, it's all about supply and demand. It, it happens with certain Rolexes, certain vehicles, uh, certain uh, merchandise pieces from like Louis Vuitton. Because I have what they want, I'm free to market up whatever price I want because it's, it's, it's a business. So same thing with the sneakers. I'm pretty sure you're talking about Kanye West sneakers. You can buy sneakers from the store. You just have to have um, luck of the draw. You have to have faith and you just have to have belief. You know, that's what it takes, you know, in the sneaker game right now. It's a real big market now. It's a big business. The sneaker game is a billion dollar industry. That's after you get the shoe from the company. So when you get it, the black market of the sneaker game is a billion dollar industry. And people make a good living off of reselling sneakers. Having a store, yes, you could benefit from it because a store is like a, a great platform with people to believe in you and let, let them know that you're not full of shit. You know, versus an internet reseller or an internet like store. Physical piece of property makes the consumer feel more like relieved and more more convinced. We have a wide range of Bay and Eight. We have all the Kanye West sneakers in here. We have a bunch of limited stuff in here. It's just a real exclusive boutique that I gave my team that we gave to the city. Something very unique. Uh, the sneaker culture is worldwide. It's not citywide. It's Sneaker culture has no color, it's, uh, it's for everybody.